Welcome back to Waffles and Wheels again. Today I've got a 118th scale model for y'all. This is the uh, Ferrari Mondial 3.2. A lot of the ones that you see online are the Mondial 8. This is the um, facelifted one. I think that came out somewhere in the 80s. I don't know when exactly, but um, I just kind of wanted to give y'all a tour over this car here. Um, and the reason I'm doing this specifically is because at the end of this week, I will be listing this on eBay. So if you are listening to this video right now, know that at the end of this week, after the 4th of July here, I will be putting this on eBay. You can go and check it out if you're interested. Um, but now I'll give you a quick tour of the car. So it is die cast, like I mentioned, Hot Wheels Elite, 118 scale. Um, the car is very nicely detailed. It's pretty much on par with an auto art, to be honest, if you're familiar with the auto art models. Um, they even go so far to have carpet in them and stuff like that. This is not one of the cheap Hot Wheel models where it's just plastic for the flooring. I'll start to give you all a look at it on the inside here. You can see those um, windows there half open. I guess that's just the way they did it. But the doors are very nice. There's no ugly hinges or anything like that in there. So it looks like a real car. And then um, if you see there, there's that carpeting and it's all through the front and the back. This trim, even, I'm pretty sure this trim is metal. It's so delicate and thin, but it, it really looks so real. It's amazing. You can even see the uh, Prancing Horse logo there on the console. That is also metal, I'm pretty sure. And the controls are all labeled on the car. You can even see like a little fan logo on the green switch there in the middle console. It is just truly amazing. You can see all the, I'm pretty sure those are stickers on the dash, but at any rate, it looks very nice though. Um, of course it has adjustable steering. Not by a lot, but it does. Um, of course, that's probably the way most 18th scale cars are. So it closes up pretty nice there. Um, the doors don't overhang or anything like that. Of course, when you get it, it will have the protective um, inserts here. So the doors will poke out a little bit. Uh, here's a look at the uh, passenger side. Pretty much same story. Um, yeah, one of the differences, too, was the uh, shifter on the car for the 3.2 Mondial is the chrome shifter instead of, I think the other one was a black ball shifter. Um, but at any rate, just nice little touches like that that really make this model. You can also see on the side there is a Pininfarina uh, decal right there, too. And these uh, cheese grater inlets on the side also appear to be hollow. I'm not sure if they actually connect to the engine bay, but it looks real enough. I'll give you all a look at the front of the car here too. Unfortunately, I don't have a professional camera. That's why I always have to shoot things on my phone. And then I'll give you a look at the front there. So the grill actually, I found out, is metal. Um, if you tap it, it, it is actual metal. It's crazy how detailed they made this thing. And of course, the front is just so cool. It, it almost looks like the Berlinetta Boxer, but, you know, with it being the entry-level Ferrari, I don't know. I just thought it was cool they gave it that treatment with the facelift. Kind of made it more upscale. But now I'll look closer at the uh, inside engine bay here. You can see that these vents here are hollow, and actually, these are not plastic right here. These vents are metal, just like the hood. So that is a very cool um, detail about it. So I'll go ahead and show you all the hood here. So it's got that flat black on the inside, which is really nice, makes it look more real. Um, so not too much to see here, you know, the radiator, the spare tire, which of course is in place. So you will get that. Unfortunately, the car does not have pop-up headlights that come up. That is the only thing that I would say I would have against it compared to an auto art. If it had that, I probably wouldn't be listing this on eBay because then it would just be so, so cool. Um, you can also see there, I think there's the uh, seat belt buckles there. So, I mean, they just, they really went to town on details and did not spare anything. Now for one of the coolest parts is the back. You do have the uh, reflectors there, you can see in that ruby red there. It looks very, very nice, especially in the sunlight. This car, 
the color blue may not look quite as good to you right now, but trust me, like in a sunset, this car looks really good and you can get some really nice photo ops out of it. Um, so I'll go ahead and open the engine bay here now. Just like beforehand, you've got the vents here. These are metal as well. And it's really nice because of the way it just kind of holds here. You don't have to worry about it slamming back down. It props itself right up. So you have that Quattro Valvole engine here on the inside. Unfortunately, my phone cannot pick up all the detail on the engine block, but just know there is some silver writing um, in the red on the engine block there. It looks really, really great in person. Also have Ferrari written there in chrome on the air cleaner. And of course, all of the wiring and other details. There's even the battery with the terminals there in the back that you can see. Um, very beautiful engine bay. And like I said, right on par with something that auto art would do. Now, one other cool thing that I found out about the car after I got it is it also has a little trunk, just like the Fieros back in the day. Um, I don't know if you can really see how deep it is. No, not really. But, you know, it's shallow, but it's there. So, you know, if you want to pose it, it does look pretty cool from the side. Let's see if I can show you all here what the car looks like with everything exploded out. Just to give you a idea of everything in all of its glory here. Now, this has been a really fun car to own. Unfortunately, I just don't have the shelf space to display it. So I'm hoping that one of you all watching out there can take this car on. Um, it's really, really nice. Um, so yeah. Be looking out for it. I'll list it sometime here after the 4th of July. Thanks for watching.